there's a lot of guys who whittle and carve, and, but the power of this is so above. Right. So, and I'll read you a quote from Arshalita. He says, um, I asked God for some kind of miracle, some kind of a thing to do, to give me something to make my life with. I started carving and they just came out of my mind after that. Um, these two duck decoys was known as the Michelangelo of duck decoys. He's the best if you collect duck decoys and there are many collectors of duck decoys. In terms of painters, um, one of the most iconic folk art pieces ever, is the young girl in red dress with the cat and the dog. It's by Amy Phillips. Um, Ilians is the carver of, is a carousel lion and I just imagine if I was a kid, can you imagine how you would feel like sitting on this lion. I mean, these artists create their own worlds, and Darger is certainly um, one of those artists. Darger was a, um, a janitor in Chicago. What they found in his apartment was approximately 15,000 pages, and it is this epic tale of the Vivian sisters. And the Vivian sisters live in another world. There's names for these dragons and other beings. They have these epic battles. So they're part animal, part human, part girl, part boy. It's good, it's evil, it's light, it's dark. When you watch people go through a show, I love it if they come into a gallery and they just go, whoa, and they beeline, right? Or someone else beelines this direction or something. I mean, that to me is tells me that the show is really evocative and, and is in dialogue with you as you go through. And I think this show, you know, that is one of its strengths, is there's just some pieces that you just gotta take, you know, make that beeline over and go, look at those teeth. <laughs>